The Raven. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, and... It was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember brought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow. Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books some cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost alone. For the rare and radiant maiden, the angels made the moon. Neighbors his forever. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, is to repeat it to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This isn't nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or well, madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is I was happy, and so gently you gave me. 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 And Here I opened the light that I opened. Darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, doubting, dreaming, 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 mortal, mortal, ever dare dreaming, mortal. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, the no more. This I whispered, and I never wondered back from the word, no 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 more. Merely really this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely, that is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then, what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days. Of yore, not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he. upon my bust of palace, just above my chamber door, perched and sat and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it bore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, Ghastly, grim, and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, nevermore.
Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear it discourse so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such a name as Nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely, lonely on the placid bus spoke only that one word, as it is so that one word he did not do. Nothing farther than the other, not a feather that he fluttered, I scarcely more than mutter. Other friends have flown before, tomorrow he will leave me as my hopes have flown. Then the bird said, never more. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock in store. Caught from some unhappy master, whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his songs one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore. Uh, never, never bore. But the raven still beguiling all my sad soul into smiling, straight I wheeled a quaking seat in front of his bird. And, and bust a door, and then the upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking, fancy unto fancy, fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous, what this grim, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant, 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 This I sat in case I sat in case, but in syllable expressing syllable powers is I realized on the ground of the trees and bosoms of the air. This and all I sat to buy, this and all I sat to buy, my head to be the clothing, my head to be the cushion of velvet lining, my cushion of velvet lining, my head to be the lining, but was velvet by the lining, by the lamplight, 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 Never then we thought the air of the tossed air of the from an unseen sunset, swung by a seraphim 